Welcome back to the channel, Stuart from ZZ Toys and Play, and today we're going to be reviewing the new Seeker World PlayStation. So here we have the CQ World Police Station, which is model number 5510, and the dimensions are 41 centimeters long by 22 centimeters wide, and it's a total of 29 centimeters high. So it's a, it's a fairly decent model. Now with this model, it doesn't come with any specific plates that you would fit on in terms of the the CQ World range. So that's just one of the things to note straight off there that if you wanted to fit this into a um, a, a, a set of uh, you know the road or fit it up to that, that's just one of the things that you will just need to be aware of that you can't really connect it up onto anything. You'll just need to place it onto one of the tiles. But I think looking at it, the profile of this, that you would be able to sit it onto one of the, the road tiles fairly easy, sort of a corner tile, it might work really well. So there is an absolute, there's, there's quite a lot to this model compared to the fire station in terms of its playability and the items you do get with it. This is definitely one of the, the better of the two that were released. So I'm just going to move these back just so you can see a little bit more about it. So I'm just going to go over the actual model first, the building, and then we'll get into the, some more of the of the the vehicles and some of the other bits that you get with it. So the model is part of this new push fit system compared to the older system. I have fully unboxed this and built this on the channel as well. So if you want to look on the CQ World playlist, you will see that I have actually um, unboxed this uh, as a silent sort of hyperlapse uh, video that you can check out just to see me building it. So this is the push fit system. It's a lot stronger than the old system that they had uh, where um, where it was a sort of a corner system that would actually push onto the corners and as soon as you pushed onto it it'll fall to pieces this one is more robust you can lean on it a small person can lean on it um, you can pick it up without it falling apart it's just one of those things which is much better much better so that's in terms of the playability there are uh, there is a lot more playability on this model than there is on the police on the fire station on the fire station in terms of doors that would open you only have one door to open like so and then you would also have which we've put on the back here the roller shutter door so you have both those same things on here so the roller shutter door that you could have on the front that's one of the good things about this system as well is that it is entirely universal um, and you do get so if you did have a series of different buildings you could make up different variations and it's just also worth noting on the box on the rear side of it there are different ways that you could build it as well so that's just one of the things that to be aware of which is pretty cool as well as if you wanted to have this as a terraced section as well. So if you had both the fire station and this, you can connect them all up. Um, but what I would say is that just that there is, because there is no plate included on this. Um, I, the way that we did it on, because if you check on our Instagram channel, you will see that I made up everything, all of my CQ World stuff in my garage gym um, for our son to play with. Because I just wanted to basically see how we would fit everything in and how everything works together. So that's one of the only downsides of this is that you don't get a road plate to connect up to. But you do get these ramps so you can just place them on and they work just as well. So there is a little bit more additional playability. So on this one there are more doors. So you just got, you've got an additional door up here and then an additional door down here as well. And that's one good thing as well as an additional opening and closing. Um, roller sort of shutter door and then the scale for these I look are a good 1 to 50 scale in terms of the building so some of the more playability as we go to the back here you do have this little drop section here as well which if you just take one of the gold bars which is the additional piece you can actually hide it in there and then it will drop down and then it will just fall on like so so a little bit more of additional playability one of the other things which is a bit which is better is this sec these sections here 
There is a little diorama on the on the box which shows you breaking the wall away to bust someone out as you can see there and then taking the gold as well. So you can immediately see compared to the fire station this building does have or this set does have a lot more playability so you can fix all of these together on this plate here and then use the and then use the uh, the rope and hook to break away the building wall. So as with the fire station, you do get this, uh, you do get this, you do get this um, sound sound effects with it. So I'll just take this off here, and then you can see you do get six sound effects there, as well as some lights. And we will just press on. There we go. So we'll just do one of the sound effects, the radio sound effect. And there we go. And then you've got car sirens as well as other things, uh, radios as well. So as I've taken that off, you can see this is the more better robust push fit system. They are fairly simple. They go, it's universal um, across all the new CQ range. So you just basically, you can put this back together, pushing it in, and then the walls slot in between some grooves. So we'll just put an additional piece here on there. And then you can just put the roof back on like so and it is all really well once you've got everything clicked into place it does fit in and it does stay quite nicely together once everything is lined up so that is the model i do like this model compared to the to, and compared to the fire station even though you don't have no ramp or no um, parking system on top for the in terms of that part of the fun, I do like I do like this compared to the other mod compared to the fire station model because you do get that extra level of playability. So as we go on to some of the additional things that you do have as part of this model, you do get um, you do get a, a sticker pack which you can then add in this control panel here and then add into the rooms. You do get this also sort of investigation desk with chair as well. The scales are obviously not representative of anything. So they're just obviously clearly made for um, to, to play with. You get this uh, bunk bed, which I should imagine is for the cell. And then you do get some additional lights and those sorts of things as well, as well as the gold bars, which can you can put in that secret trap door, which I showed you earlier. And then you get the rope, as I've shown you, shown you just shown you as well as you do get some additional more playing parts there. Okay, so as we go on to the models, then you can see we both we have essentially 150 scale models here. So we have this bad guy uh, truck, and then we have the police station, um, there's the, the police vehicle as well. So this is based on the Mercedes Sprinter van, and I think this van is a, a really nice heavy casting. You can feel it once you pick it up. It's of really, really good quality. I think this is one of the reasons why that both this set, that this set is around about sixty-five pounds. Is that you do get two decent one to fifty models, which would roughly be around about fifteen pounds each anyway. So you do get some really good quality models overall for both. But keeping on this model, there is quite a lot of playability. Everything which is silver is die-cast metal. These are the windscreen, the mirrors are plastic. You get rub plastic wheels with rubber tires. Again, very good quality. As soon as you pick it up, you know you are working with, you, know you have a quality model. In terms of playability, you've got a side door to open and you've got some rear doors as well. It's also worth noting that you can find that this model, this, this, uh, this casting is also, can be used for an ambulance, which is really good. And then you get some front door openings as well. So a lot of playability, a lot of detail in this model. Um, and that's just one thing that I really do like about this set. So moving on to the truck, which I think is maybe a Dodge Ram or something very close to that. Again, you get quite a lot of playability in this model. You pick it up. It's of really good quality. So anything you see here, which is this burgundy red here, you is die cast metal. You've got some nice screen printing on there. A couple of things on this which I think um, could be could have been better is to have plastic rear lights. They're just screen printed at the moment and then better lights on the front as well. But the ball bars are plastic but feel of really good quality. The rims are plastic with rubber tires and then you've got these these um, 
I think some runner boards for you to step up to as well. In terms of playability of the model, you do get two doors which are opening on the front, on the on there, and then on the flatbed section on the back, you do get the drop down part of the the trailer as well. So that is really really good. Really really like that. And then additionally, you do get the bonnet does open, and you there is a decent detailed uh, engine in there as well. So both really good models. Really impressed with them overall so in terms of my thoughts pros and cons i think some of the definitely some of the pros the immediate thing that i was um impressed about wasn't actually the building itself it was these two models they are really good quality really really super quality i really like them and uh, if anything that is probably worth it to um is worth purchasing this just for these models alone actually although it is very expensive and they are two very good highly detailed models and definitely ones that I will enjoy having in my collection. In terms of the building itself there is a lot more playability in this one compared to the fire station so in terms of I would give that a definite pro compared to the fire station in terms of everything you get as well as variations on on the on the police station as well you can do the various different things with this where with the fire station because you have that ramp slide going down just show you that on the on the on the picture there so that fire station there is there is a certain amount of you, you are pretty limited to exactly what arrangements you can have on there but with this model there's there's because everything is pretty much universal you can do multiple variations fit them in onto the tiles where you like okay so that's it for this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll be happy to help uh, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos thank you very much